Uh, Man City boss Pep Guardiola has been speaking to the media ahead of his side's Carabao Cup match against Spurs tomorrow night. I forgot about that one. <gasps> Live on Talk Sport as well at 8.15. How about that? He responded to Real Madrid's absence from yesterday's Ballon d'Or ceremony in Paris. They want to go, it's fine. They don't want to go, it's fine as well. So they want to congratulate, it's fine. They don't want to do it, it's fine as well. I would say for us, even last season, for example, that Erling won the treble. More than 50 goals. Last season, Erling should have won. Yes. I, I agree. Who won it last year? Messi? Yeah, World Cup he had to, didn't it? Do you know what's funny? Yeah, yeah, too. Yeah, you're right. Do you know what's funny, right? And someone's made a really good point about who's on these panels, right? What, for, for the voting of for, the... For all, every, for everything. Do you mean pro- everything? Well, the Rod- Ballon d'Or? No, but not just that, but even in Premier League terms as well. Right. Because Rodri wasn't in the team of the year, right? That's right. And you know De Bruyne has never won player of the month. Hold on, hold on. So just to go back, so Rodri wasn't in the Premier League team of the year. That's right. And uh, Kevin De Bruyne has never won I know, player, player of the month. Considering he's won two PFA player of the years. Work that out. And that's ridiculous. How can, you not, how can he not have won one player of the month? But he's won two player of the years. Hold on, Joe just said Rodri wasn't in the year. I've got proof on my phone that he wasn't. Someone sent me that yesterday, actually, Joe. That little fact. Do you want me to just confirm? Oh, Joe's saying it was in the PFA team of the year, but Joseph, I've got it on my phone here. It was sent to me last night. Here we go. And it says, uh, where is it? Oh, I can't find it now. But that's what I was told, that he wasn't in it. But you're saying he was. And Benny's just said it as well, which leads me to believe one of us is right, Benty. Okay, nice. Okay, we'll find that out. Uh, just quickly, you, you see the game I mentioned there, Man City against Spurs tomorrow evening in the Carabao Cup, yeah. live on TalkSport 8.15. Um, I don't expect Man City to put out any of their big hitters, right? I really don't. I don't know, you know. Oh, I, th- they... I think they... But okay. Okay, what... so my question was, right? Mm. We know Big Ange, second season, wins a trophy, etc. And Spurs yeah. have to get that monkey off the back, winning. It? It's going to happen. One day they will win a trophy. Yeah. Do you think with that all in mind, Spurs will go for it? Um, yeah, I, think I expect them to go for it because I think that's the way Ange wants to play. But... but he's never done that previously in early League Cup rounds. He's always played weakened sides. Yeah, uh, listen, he's got to assess the squad first and foremost and see who needs um, who needs minutes and who doesn't. But I know you said there about Manchester City, but I mean, on their bench at the weekend, Nathan Aki, so he'll probably play. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? They've got Gundogan, he came off the bench. That McAtee, they've got Otega, John Stones was on the bench as well. Mate, they're, they're, they'll still have about four or five I know, but they won't, they, it won't be like they're playing one of the big hitters. It won't be like um, they're playing Liverpool. They won't go for it. I, I, I don't oh, I'm surprised know. you say that. Yeah, because I, I don't know with, with Pep. I, I bet you Harlan plays. No, he won't play. I bet he does. I'll be I'll be stunned. Why? That's what I just think, because I just think they're you know we've seen it before. He says he won't change it in the last round of, for, of the Carabao Cup. He filled it such a weak side. He said he won't change okay. it. Okay, well, I mean it's a great opportunity then. Maybe Spurs to have to go full strength, don't they? They're not, they're not going to win the Premier League. They're not going to get top four probably, right? But they're still I mean they're still with, you, a, with a shout. He but. wins a trophy, big Ange, <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah, okay. They have to go for it, I think. Uh, we'll talk about that, I'm sure, on tomorrow's show. We are talking about Emmy Martinez. Is he the best goalkeeper on the planet? I mean, he's been voted that, but is he the best in the Premier League? Uh, Dion is a Liverpool fan. Hi, Dion. How we doing, boys? You all right? I'm great. How are you today? Yeah, good, thanks. All good. Good. What would you like to say? Yeah, there's two points I want to make, boys. Firstly, with Emmy Martinez. Listen, Emmy Martinez is a world-class goalkeeper. He's not the best goalkeeper in the Premier League. It's Alisson, and I don't believe it's close, boys. For me... Allison's in the conversation with Peter Cech and Peter Schmeichel as the best goalkeeper to ever play in the Premier League. I mean, Martinez is nowhere near that conversation, so I don't get how you can think he's the best keeper in the Prem. You're a Liverpool fan, right, Dion? Yeah. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, we've got an Aston Villa fans on James, and I bet he says that. Um, actually, no, actually, don't go to him. Um, Why? Because he said Allison's better. But no, <laughs> I, I do, I, do you know, I, James, I agree yeah. with you. I think Allison is the best goalkeeper in the Premier League, but. I do think Emmy Martinez is an outstanding goalkeeper. And, and yes, I would have Alisson at the top. But if someone came on this show and said that they felt Martinez was better, I'd be like, OK, fair enough. Like, I don't think it's night and day. I do think it's close. Yeah, well, let's speak to that Aston Villa fan. Goes by the name of James. Jimmy? Hello, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Uh, Alisson is a better keeper, in all honesty. But the Ballon d'Or, it's all, it's, A, it's all opinion-based. And B, it, it's, it's generally the best player who plays for the best team. Like, Emmy Martinez, his trophy cabinet's bigger, at least on an international level, than Alisson's, and that gives him bonus points, and that gives him uh, a re- or gives people a reason to vote for him in, in, in Ballon d'Or and, and for the Ashen Award. So it, it's not generally just on capability and ability. It's, it's based on the team you play for 
and how well that team's done as well. But James, is that, James, does that not then go against Emi Martinez? Because for the last few years, Villa haven't been in the Champions League, where Alisson has been in the Champions League. So then you've said it on an international scale. When you look at Alisson, he's got years on Martinez playing at the highest level at the Champions League. So th that's probably an argument to go against Alisson then, if you're using that for Martinez. Well, I think the World Cup is more valuable than the Champions League trophy. Yeah, but that's once every four and years. So the, Champions, once, the Champions League's once, every year. Yeah, and I think if you've won the if you've won the Copa America and you've won the um, if you won the World Cup, it's just like Rodri has won the Euros, like that counts. That I think on an international level for journalists who are international journalists voting for these for these trophies, it's going to matter more. I think. Okay, let's... And, and that's why they go for these types, these types of players. Okay, James, thanks for your call. Good call. Let's quickly go to Michael. Hello, Michael. Hello. Hello, off you go. Hey, Eddie. Hey, boys. Uh, big fan. Thanks for having me on. Oh, pleasure. Um, I'm, uh, I'm baffled that Rodri's won the, the Ballon d'Or, to be honest. The, the previous caller, the Villa fan, I think his name was James, he's talking about trophies in the cabinet. Surely that's sort of irrelevant and it's about the best footballer. I don't think Rodri is even the best footballer in Manchester City's midfield. Um, I, uh, I'm embarrassed by Real Madrid's behaviour as well. I'm not sure that it should have been Vinny Jr. But who who would you have gone for then, Michael? Uh, well, I'm a Chelsea fan, so I'm going to say Cole Palmer. But I, I appreciate that. Uh, well, yeah, but yeah, but Cole Palmer didn't even win PFA Player of the Year last year. So how can he win the Ballon d'Or? No, yeah, good point. And uh, if you look at achievements, Chelsea didn't do anything either. Um, but so I think Phil Foden is is more in the conversation than Rodri should have been because he was PFA. Player, I think. Do you not think Rodri in his position is the best player in the world? Um, yeah, but I think his position is it doesn't require you to be a brilliant footballer. Oh. That's why he's more controversial. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you dictate you know, you the pace. I mean, literally everything, everything about the game is down to you. Sure. I mean, you're sort of you're the manager on the pitch kind of thing, but you're not necessarily the one with the best touch or can see the greatest pass or whatever. Um yeah, I just I don't I don't think he made as much of an impact. And maybe this is me as an ignorant football fan. Um, nah, so we, 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 listen, I wouldn't say you're ignorant. No, but, no. Uh, no. We're all football fans are ignorant. Yeah, uh, but that's no, why we love Rogers. Incredible. Yeah. Palmer, no, that's can the kind I, of thing you'd I, say. Can I? Palmer is a genius. Can I just say right? And I know I'm going to be a little bit biased here, but I listen to all the other shows on Talksport. We've got the best fans, best listeners on our show, haven't we? We really have. Like our listeners should be the Ballon d'Or winners for listeners. They are. All the calls we get are brilliant. They come on, they say nice things about loving the show, Benny goes, da, da, da. then they're brilliant when they come on. Yeah. We are very lucky. We have got the Ballon d'Or winners of listeners. Good work, everyone. We love the drive time, listener. Still to come on our show, we'll be discussing football's own with bad boys. Mario Bellatelli makes his Serie A return. First, it's time for No Googling Part 2. Now, since we've been discussing awards, Spam Munich in England strike Harry Kane is the current winner of the European Golden Boot Award. But the player who scored the most goals last season, we want to know who is the only. Oh, I love these questions. Who's the only other Englishman easy. in history? So easy to win that. Will you shut up? <laughs> to win the European Golden Boot. Do you know what? I don't think you've got that. Hundred percent. Okay, effort. show me initials. His I'll first name. I'll tell you who you play for. Oh, okay, you do know. <laughs> uh, answer to that and uh, more from me, Andy Olsen, and Mister Know It All, Darren Bentham. Right after this live drive and talk sport. Drive with Andy Goldstein, Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.